In this video, let us see how to write a C program to generate palindrome numbers between a given range. A number is palindrome if the reverse of that number is equal to the original number itself. Let us see the high level flowchart first. Start. We do not know what is a lower range and the upper range. So first we need to read lower and the upper range. Assume that we want to find the palindrome numbers between 150 and 155. So 150 is the lower range and 155 is the upper range. So first we need to check whether this 150 is palindrome or not. So 150 is in the variable lower. So is lower palindrome? Here it is no. The condition is no, then we need to go to the next number. So that means lower is equal to lower plus one. Again, we have to check. So now in, in lower, it is 151. So check whether lower is palindrome or not. In this case, it is yes. So print, we can print that number, print lower. Then go to the next number, 152. 152, it is not palindrome. Hence, we need to go to the next number, lower is equal to lower plus one. So again, it's 153. 153, again, it is not palindrome. Go to next number, 154. 154, it is not palindrome. Not go to the next number, uh, 155. It is again not palindrome. So we have reached the upper limit. So now we can stop this operation. So that means the termination condition here is lower less than or equal to upper. If it is yes, check whether lower is palindrome. If it is palindrome, print lower and go to the next number. If it is not palindrome, just go to the next number. So once the lower has reached the upper, we have finished the operation and we can stop. So this is the high level flow chart. So in this flow chart, this part is lower palindrome. We need to replace it with the specific steps. So this is the flowchart for finding whether a number is palindrome or not. So this part we replace with this one. Here there is no need for reading the number. Uh, we are finding whether the lower is palindrome or not. So here instead of temp is equal to num, we replace with temp is equal to lower. So take this part and insert here. Let us do it. So temp is equal to lower, reverse is equal to zero. Temp greater than zero, yes. D is equal to temp mod 10. Reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus D. Temp equal to temp by 10. So again, repeat the steps. So once this condition becomes false, temp greater than zero becomes false. We got the reverse of lower. Now check whether the lower is equal to reverse. If it is yes, print lower and go to next number. If it is no, just go to the next number. Again, repeat the same operation. Again, repeat the same operation with the next number. So once this lower becomes greater than upper, that means we have finished checking all the numbers between the range, we can go to stop. So now let us convert this flowchart to program code. Hash include stdi.h, void main, open curly brace. We request variable lower, upper, temp, reverse, and d. So declare the variables first. Int lower, upper, temp, d, comma, reb. So first we need to read lower and upper range. So print of enter lower and upper range, scan of percentage T, percentage T, comma, ampersand lower and comma, ampersand upper. So next it is a condition. It is part of a loop. 
So this it is part of this loop. So I'm going to use while loop here. While lower less than less than or equal to upper. Open curly brace. Go to the yes part. Yes part. It is temp is equal to lower. Rv equal to zero. Next, it is again a condition, and it is also part of the loop. While temp greater than zero, d equal to open curly brace. Go to yes part. D is equal to temp mod ten. Rev equal to Rev into ten plus t. Temp equal to temp by ten. End of this loop. End of this loop. Close the inner while loop. Now go to the no part. No part. It is condition, but it is part of a selection. So use if there. If lower is equal to Rev. Yes means print lower. Open curly brace. Print of percentage t comma lower. End of yes part. So close if body. Go to the no part. In the no part, there is nothing. So after this if l if body. The next statement is lower equal to lower plus one. And this is the end of the outer loop. So close the outer while. Close the outer while. Go to the no part. No part is stop. So close the main function. So this this loop is inside this loop outer loop. So this is the outer loop and this is the inner loop. So this is the program to generate palindrome numbers between a given range. Let us execute this program on the system. Let us execute this using an online compiler. So I'm going to give the range lower range 100 and upper range 200. So you can see, you can see here the palindrome numbers between 100 and 200 has been generated. That means our program has been executed successfully.